Now, I've been talking about this place for ages and ages. We've been shouting about it on the guide Liverpool. We're talking about the Chancery. It's on Paradise Street, not far from John Lewis. We got the Strand that way. Perfect location, uh, perfect menu, perfect wines, perfect food. Tell us about the Chancery. Mark, general manager, the man in the know. What's it all about? The Chancery is bar delicatessen uh, restaurant in a listed Siemens Mission building on Paradise Street. Dates back to the 1800s. Basically fell into disrepair for around about 15 years and then it's turned it into three independent units and we were lucky enough to get one of the units. You've really kept the character, so the brickwork, the original brickwork is still on show. It feels really special as soon as you walk in, it feels like you're kind of stepping back in time a little bit, doesn't it? Very much so. It's got its an ambience all of, all of its own, but a lot of the fabric of the building is reclaimed, so a lot of the floor is reclaimed woods, the balustrade that we have upstairs in the uh, a la carte restaurant we had uh, made for us to retain the flavour of the Siemens mission with the anchor and the boys, etc. The mural on the wall, it retains that character. You can, When you walk in the door, you can smell wet wood. I can't describe it. That's the only thing that I can say. As soon as you walk in, that's the first thing that people comment on. It has this particular smell, which I think evokes people's memories from the past anyway. We've had people that have actually been in the Siemens mission for many many years ago that walked past and sort of wanted to come in and see what the building is all about what has it become that interest is already there you know the building is part of the fabric of Liverpool and fortunately for, not, for us it, it will be so going forward as well I mean it's it's grade two listed so you can see how beautiful the building is outside and inside yeah um, it's perfect location so we've got Liverpool one just that way so yeah. if, if you just want to get away from from the buzz of Liverpool one and come here for a break perfect for, for a, a, an evening meal before you go to a gig at the yeah. arena or, or the Albert theaters Dark, or any theater. it's close to everything yeah you're absolutely. linked with the Epstein theater it's a great location yeah absolutely you couldn't get a better location for an independent venue within Liverpool and being so close to Liverpool one we're an independent so therefore we we're retaining that flavour, but we're doing something different. You said you, you smell that old wood when you walk in. Yeah. That's the first thing you smell. The second thing you smell is the beautiful food coming from Absolutely. the kitchen, the scouts and everything else. Tell us about the food menu. Okay, so the food is basically trying to put Liverpool on a plate. So it's all, all the food is basically locally sourced. And we sell bacon ribs, hot pot, piwak. And then we have an a la carte menu as well. So, I mean, there's things on there as well that would, really whet someone's appetite on a fine dining experience as well so it's again it's something different the bistro offers one thing the a la carte restaurant is something different altogether gotta say the breakfast in here are very special indeed Absolutely. i've had many uh, they are gorgeous we gotta talk drinks the beer lads is very good wine is also high up on the menu in here the wine is a specialist uh products that we have orchestrated to be in Liverpool and to have the extensive wine collection that we have is very unusual. But also that we only do European wines, we don't do New World wines. And the reasoning behind that is the drinking process is a lot more natural. It doesn't contain as many sulfates, so we would hope that it didn't contain as many sulfates. The vast majority of wines are all organic. A lot of them are vegan and vegetarian wines as well. So you won't wake up with that fuzzy head, or we would hope that you wouldn't wake up in that fuzzy head in the morning. Depends on obviously how many bottles you're gonna get through, but. We gotta talk as well about some of the events that you guys do, because you become famous for this now, wine tasting, yeah. um, spirit tasting, you, you do tons of stuff, and, and you can check more out on our website. Yes, definitely. Uh, so what we're trying to do is with the wine tasting, we're trying to hold an event every month, but we're trying to get the wine producers to come over and talk about their their specific products that we sell within the wine shop and within the delicatessen, with it, you know, in the bar and the restaurant, etc. So therefore, it creates that theatre all by itself because these people are passionate about the products that they're selling. So therefore, that passion trans transposes to those wine events. Mother's Day, fast approaching. Why should people book a table for their mum or for their other half for Mother's Day? Just a fantastic venue and also fantastic food. Very reasonably priced. We've got a Mother's Day, a special Mother's Day menu, a live singer in as well during the daytime. It'll just be a, a really special ambience, really special atmosphere. Aintree races, fast approaching as well. Yep. Uh, Ladies Day, Liverpool Day, also the Grand National. What, what are we doing for, for race goers and people who, who maybe just want to get out and celebrate? The uh, we're going to do a champagne breakfast uh, for ladies and gents that are going to the races um, and then hope to replicate something again in the, in the evening time as well for people that want to come into the city and um, experience and feel the vibe of the races afterwards. Now, one thing I love at the Chantry is, is the private dining room. 
it's not just a room, it's more like a suite. You've got, got sofas in there and everything. You yeah. can fit a big party in there. Absolutely, we can get 24 people in very, very comfortably. Absolutely beautiful room. A very evocative of the building itself. A different feel altogether, really quite plush. With it being a private dining room, you close the door and you make your own mood type thing. Uh, but the food obviously sells itself, but also you could spend the whole night in there. You could, you know, I don't know, you could have a singer, you can stick a little piano in there, away you go. I tell you what, perfect. If you've got a birthday, a christening, whatever, uh, check it out, the private dining room. Got a great feel to this place, come and check it out. It's in Chancery House, the Chancery. Uh, this mural as well, it is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Just come in, just, just to check out uh, the mural. Mark, thank you for having us. Uh, I'm gonna Pleasure. grab a coffee, maybe a beer, because it's nice in here. Uh, but seriously, come and check it out. It's a beautiful building. Book yourself in for some food. Final message, what would you say to people about coming here? Why should they book? You're not gonna get a replication of this anywhere else in Liverpool. Just come and see us. Mark, General Manager of the Chancery, here on Paradise Street. Thank you. Thank you very much.